Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. People community down there that I'm connected with, and they have regular, they meet, they don't, they don't protest as much as they meet at cafes. It's and, doctors and that, yeah. Yeah, it's, do, it's all. It's from China, try to steal your mind's elation. And if you want these kind of dreams, it's California. And I notice you're here for Wilfred Wong. Wong, is it? Yes. Can you tell me all about Wilfred Wong? Please? I certainly can. Um, Wilfred Wong is also an unsung hero. Um, he was a former UK barrister and a human rights activist who was a strong ad advocate for satanic ritual abuse survivors. Um, he was actually in prison for 17 years for trying to rescue a child from a satanic ritual abuse ring. Um, and Wilfred's now been in jail for three years. So, yeah, he'd been working for about 30 years to help SRA survivors. Since there was an MP, I think his last name was Dickens, I'm not 100% sure, but there was an MP in the 90s who spoke out about satanic ritual abuse in um, Parliament in the UK. And he'd been involved with helping victims since then. banners that you guys have um, of Julian Assange and the amazing work that you guys have been doing um, for him and for his release and trying to bring him home. I think it's a disgrace that our government doesn't fight hard enough to bring him um, back to his homeland. He should be here with us. The work that he's done is amazing. He, the journalistic integrity that he has is phenomenal and uh, I truly believe that in the cause of bringing him home internationally. Um, fun fact, my lawyer, not gonna say his name, but he traveled with Julian Assange throughout Europe and when he first walked out of the hotel, he was one of the guys that actually told him to do it. Um, I'm not gonna say his name, but you know who you are. Thank you for supporting me and getting me out of tricky media situations. Um, I run a podcast called The 5-8 Take, where over 100 episodes, we do a lot of online content. Can you and, spell out that podcast? Yeah, T-H-E-F-I-V-E, -E, the number eight, and take, T-A-K-E. So, The 5-8 Take, oh, there if you, yeah. you want to go and have a look, but I do, I do truly love the work that you do in bringing him uh, home, we're assisting in bringing him home, and you've consistently done it, and that's why I wanted to come over and shake your hand and say thank you. Fiona, um, I think that the, the pivotal issue here is um, what we would loosely call propaganda. It seems to pervade everything in public life lately. Um, can you address this idea of propaganda with us? Well, we're here right now trying to help people learn about what's going on with Julian Assange. We want to free Julian Assange. Over on the right here, we have the Worldwide Freedom Rally, which is going on globally. People are coming together who are impacted by the COVID vaccines, the vaccine mandates. They're over here, we're supposed to be having a Freedom Rally. For the people, what's happened is Aussie Cossack, if you're watching, Aussie Cossack sold out to these politicians by paying $100,000 
They paid $100,000 to have the SAGE to ruin our worldwide freedom rally. Okay, none of these politicians uh, were there, you know, at Camp Epic. None of them were really taking care of us. They're only here because they want votes. Because they want votes, because they're opposition. They're against the, the yes vote. The majority of the people there, they're, they're there because they, they want to talk about freedom. We want to talk about freeing Julian Assange. We want to talk about ending the vaccine mandates. We want to talk about vaccine injuries. Not only do we want to talk about that, the forest of the fallen over there, where people have died or they've been vaccine injured, that's what we want to talk about. We have media up there spinning propaganda, talking about the voice. They won't address the vaccine mandates. They won't address what's going on with Julian Assange. And that's what we're here for. We want to free Julian Assange. We have politicians up there from the Labor Party, One Nation, Liberal Party, doing political spin so they can get your votes. Because the goal is not to completely subjugate Afghanistan. The goal is to use Afghanistan to wash money out of the tax bases of the United States, out of the tax bases of European countries, through Afghanistan and back into the hands of a transnational security agency. That is the goal, i.e. the goal is to have an endless war, not a successful war.